find the area, or excuse me, the volume we get when we rotate this equation around the x-axis. You can see the signal, or the rotation sign there. So essentially it's rotating and it's you get a volume kind of like this. Okay, so anyway, uh, remember when you find the area of a slab, this is the shell method, it's pi r squared. So in this instance, what we're doing, volume is going to be equal to pi, and we're going from, it looks like, um, negative 1 to 3. And um, our r squared, so the radius is each individual component here, and that's going to be the equation. So we have um, the square root of 3 minus x squared. And that's kind of nice because it... Um, it just turns us into 3 minus x, still integrating there. And we're going from negative 1 to 3 dx. So we get 3x minus x squared over 2 from negative 1 to 3. So starting with this, we get 9 minus 9 over 2 minus negative 3 minus 1 half. So this ends up being 4.5 minus 3, uh, plus 3.5, which gives us 8 times pi, which is 8 pi. And that's the volume that's created when you rotate that equation around the x-axis. All right. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video, and you have yourself a great day.